so bear with me through the video it's my first video I ever made uh, I was pretty nervous doing it I had no idea what I was doing but uh, for the tools you'll need or what I used pretty much for the transmission pan I think the drain plug was a 13 and then the bolts around were 8 mils and for the lines on the inside and the one bracket that are the Torx bits uh, I used a T30 that seemed to fit the best for me and then for the transmission filter I said that the longest bolt is up towards the driver's side don't know why it is actually the closest to the solenoids so yeah I made a couple mistakes but it is what it is um, the three there's gonna be three mounting bolts that I didn't say that hold the valve body up in um, I didn't know that until afterwards but just bear with me uh, the three mounting bolts will be where the arrows on the valve body are pointing and those are eight mil as well so yep uh, enjoy the video okay so I'm working on my 2011 F250 6.7 diesel uh, I haven't really seen too many videos on this so I figured I'd make my own today I'm taking out the valve body here and replacing with a RevMax valve body um, well first things first I already kind of got through this but drain your fluid and take off your pan and then next I'm going to be taking off the filter and I believe uh, unclipping all of these connections and there's one over here as well and I'll get back to you whenever I get that done okay so I just took the transmission filter out there is a bolt here a longer bolt is up here and there should be one up front here. I'm not really sure where it's at right now. But there's three all together. And I proceeded to get to these connections back here. Uh, I was a little confused on how to get them out, but I ended up just pulling to one side and yanking. This guy here is connected to that. It's pretty simple getting out. I took this one out. That, this connection runs up to here. This goes to that, and now I am going to try to drop this thing. There's a Torx right there, I'm not sure what size yet, and then I believe these have to come out as well, I'm not sure what size, but if you made it this far, uh, the pan, those bolts are 8 mil. I believe these are going to be 8 as well, I'm not too sure yet, We're, yeah, not too sure just yet, but we'll find out, and I'll get back to you after I get this started and or finished. Okay, so long story short, all these bolts here that were scattered through here do not need to come out. So, in the truck, you're going to see this, and that's where all the bolts are. And after you get everything uh, unconnected, I thought you had to take out all these bolts. I watched a RevMax video, but he put a couple back in, and I was like, I wonder why I did that, and I didn't pay any attention to it. Just dropped them all, and this totally... These are two separate pieces, and this piece ended up falling down, and this is stuck up in there. Um, there, there is two pieces, two lines that run into here, 
that you will need a T30 bit, I believe, to get out. And then there is just a little bracket that plugs into here. And then after you get those out, it's going to be fairly loose. So keep your hand on it and just wiggle it out and it'll come out. Um, here is the two lines I was just talking about that there's going to be a T30 and T30 and this is the other little piece I was talking about as well it's also a T30 and you could take that out here's the new one I have not opened it I have not touched it yet um, so yeah I'll, I'll actually get under here and show you what the underneath looks like don't mind the mess I kind of I'm, I'm winging it so this is what it looks like with nothing in it and we'll see how the install goes <laughs> okay so I don't know where I left off I've been making a couple videos I'm trying to kind of stitch them together but long story short the brand new valve body I got from RevMax I opened the box it was damaged the solenoid plastics was broke and the prongs on it and it were bent so I had to go through the process of talking to the guys at the shop where I got it from and them talking to RevMax got one chipped out whatever so I got a new solenoid here, that was the bad one, but as you go to mount this back up in here, make sure these lines here and there's a bracket, make sure those are back where they're supposed to be before you mount this up in here. Um, this line here, there's like a rubber hose that needs to be pushed up into this channel, make sure that's good. Um, there's three mounting bolts they actually have arrows displaying where they are i thought that was actually pretty helpful um, the hardest part would probably be just getting this guy back plugged into here and everything good there that was honestly the hardest part of putting this back in um, so make sure all your connection connections are good there's one two three Four, four connections plus the solenoids so go through tighten your bolts back up and I think I am good to go so I'm just gonna wipe this the surround off and uh, get the gasket ready and go from there okay so I think in the last clip I said I was ready, excuse me, I had to put the filter back in. Um, I prepped the pan to get sealed up here. Um, yeah, next time, next clip should have, I'm going to get the pan on and then after we get the pan on, all we gotta do is fill it up with fluid, and then after that we just sit and wait for our Ford, Ford Tech friend to get here, and he'll reprogram it, and we we'll, should be good.